Hi, my name is Lauren. My website is publicaction.org. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a mobile version of your resume. We're going to be using the Resume Publisher application. You can find details on my website, publicaction.org. Now, the easiest way to get started is to use one of the templates we've provided with the application's distribution. I'm going to start by going to the application menu. I choose Document and then Import File Data. That brings up a file dialog. I'm going to choose one of the templates provided in our distribution. The information is brought into the edit area of our application. Now let's talk about document structure. This document consists of cells which are located in rows and columns. We can edit it in, a, we can edit in an existing cell by clicking on an edit icon. This is the edit cell dialog. It tells us a few things about this cell. This particular cell is located at row 6 at column 1. Let's do the same thing and click on a different cell. Okay, this cell is located at row 9, column 2. Okay, let's look at uh, an additional field of the Edit Cell dialog at the Style field. Now you notice it says here that this cell has a value of Span 10. S the uh, Span 10 sets the width of this uh, cell. A row can consist of 1 to 12 columns. So let's look at a different cell. This set uh, cell is set to a value of span 2. That means this cell takes 2 twelfths of the document's width. We have some other items that ha uh, help you uh, visualize the uh, document structure. I can turn on cell borders and I can also toggle the uh, edit links on or off. <coughs> Excuse me. You might want to toggle both the uh, cell borders and the cell links off if you want to preview what your uh, published resume document is going to look like. Okay, let's add some um, content to our document. So I'm going to go to Row and then Add Row scroll down you can see it added a row to the bottom of the document and it automatically uh, inserted the first cell. Now let's add a second cell. I go to column, add column. I want to choose the last row which is row 18 and then click on add and there it added the second column. Now we're actually going to copy and paste an existing row and this is a pretty good exercise because most folks are going to be copying their resume that they've created with a traditional word processor. So we're going to do this. We're going to mimic that. Excuse me. I'm going to backspace that out. Copy and paste. Now this particular cell, remember I want it to be with span 10. And let's choose the other cell here. Select it, select copy, close it, go down here, and then paste. Click Save, and there we have a, a, a copy of our row. Now let's move this row into the body of the document. I go to our application menu, I choose Row, and then Move Row. Whoops, I forgot a step. I want, to find, I want to figure out where we're going to move that row to. I want to move it right here, so let's see where that cell resides. Okay, I can see it resides at location 13. This is row 13, column 1. So let's go to our row menu, choose Move Row. Our last row is row 18. I want to move it to location 13. I click on Change, and there we go. Okay, let's save our work. I'm going to go to Document and then Save to Local Database. Now, if you screwed up your document and you made a bunch of mistakes, you can reverse that. You can go to Document and then Load from Local Database. Okay, so we're almost ready to publish our document. Um, the next thing I want to show you, though, is you can see right now the title in our web browser just says Resume. I want to customize that title, so I go to Document, Set Title. 
I'm going to change this so it says Lauren Resume. Click on Set Title, and you can see it's changed uh, the title in the web browser tab. Okay, we're ready now to actually publish our document. So I go to Document, Publish HTML Document. I can choose a custom file name. I'm going to change it to Lauren Resume. Dot HTML and then click create file. I then click on this uh, link document ready. It brings up the file dialog. I choose the location uh, of where I want to save my published resume on my computer. Okay, let's talk briefly about a, a few advanced to uh, topics. We can also, besides just saving our uh, doc document to the local database, we can also choose this menu item, Export File Data. Okay, let's, let's talk about why you would want to export your document to an external file. As a developer, you may want to uh, save your work to a version control system like Git. You also may want to switch web browsers, like right now I'm working in um, Firefox. I may want to later on um, work on this document in Google's Chromium uh, web browser. When you save to a uh, local database, that, that data is only accessible by the current browser. So I'm right now working in Firefox. If I later decided to switch to Chromium, Chromium would not be able to access that data. So basically what you would do is if you've exported the file data to a external location, external meaning external to Firefox, I could later then when working in Chromium import it while I'm working within Chromium. I know that sounds a little bit complicated. That's why it's an advanced topic. Now finally I wanted to show you how you can actually preview what your document is going to look like in a mobile web browser. Now one of the nice features in um, Firefox is they have a tool called a Responsive uh, Design View. So I'm actually going to go in, I just uh, turned on Responsive Design View. I'm going to turn off the links and you can see I've set the um, screen width to 320 by 480. I can actually toggle the orientation from um, portrait to landscape view and you can see that the resume has automatically resized itself to fit the screen width. Let me do that one more time. You can see, let's scroll down and let's do it one more time. Okay. So that pretty much wraps up um, our one, two, three. Again, my uh, website is public action. You can find further details about the resume publisher application. You can find on my website, public action links to our GitHub repository. We have a wiki. That's where you would download the application. Thank you so much. I hope this video has been helpful. Bye.